Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is the end behavior of a function. All right, so I would like you to put me on pause and do the try this, which is to, to, is to determine the degree and the leading coefficient of the polynomial. So remember, the degree of the polynomial is its largest exponent, and its leading coefficient is the coefficient that's in front of that x or variable that has that degree. Okay, so put me on pause and then come back and check your answers. Okay, so... All right, so let's take a look at the first one. We have here f of x is equal to negative x to the third plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So this is in a simplified form. So my, my degree is 3 because that's the largest exponent. And my leading coefficient would be the number that's in front of the x to the third, which is negative 1. All right, let's take a look at 2. So I have here f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 squared. So this is actually 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. And when we double distribute, when we double distribute here, I'm going to get a 4x to the second power. Okay, so my degree is going to be 2, and my leading coefficient is going to be positive 4. Okay, let's take a look at 3. I have here f of x is equal to negative, parentheses, 2x plus 4 squared. So the 2x plus 4 squared would be 2x plus 4 times 2x plus 4. So when I multiply 2x times 2x, I'm going to get 4x squared. Right? It doesn't really matter what else I get because I'm not going to get anything uh, higher than a 4x squared there. And then I have to multiply by a negative x, which is going to give me negative 4x to the third power. So my degree is 3, and my leading coefficient is negative 4. All right, so let's talk about the end behavior. The end behavior, what that means, just going to move everything up a little bit. End behavior is what's happening at the ends of the graph. What is happening at the ends of the graph? So what's happening on the left and right side of the graph? So I'm going to use this function here. Just going to have f of x is equal to a x to the n power. So when n, your exponent, is an odd number and a is greater than 0. So I'm going to draw a little graph over here. So when your n is odd and a is positive, your graph will go up to the right and down to the left. So it'll look like this, up to the right and down to the left. So it rises right, so put over here. So see how it goes up to the right over here? So put rises right. And over here, it falls left. Okay, so what we would write is as x goes to negative infinity, right? So your x that goes to negative infinity, what's happening to your y values? Your y values are going to negative infinity. So f of x, which is y, goes to negative, also negative infinity. And then as x goes to positive infinity, your y values go to positive infinity. So as x goes to infinity f of x goes to infinity. When n is odd, so still an odd number, so like um, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and your a is less than 0, means a is negative. Okay, so on your graph, so you have x and y, your graph go, rises to the left and falls to the right. So let's put that down. Rises left. and falls right. Okay, so let's put down when x goes to negative infinity. So as x goes to negative infinity, your y values are rising. They're going to positive infinity. So f of x goes to positive infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, your y values go to negative infinity. They go down. So as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. Okay, so I'm just going to move everything up a little bit. 
so we'll have a little bit more room here. All right, when, when n is even, so 2, 4, 6, 8, and a is positive, greater than 0. So they will, your n's will look like this. They'll rise to the left and rise to the right. So they'll be both be pointing up. So put over here, rises, left, and right. So as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. So as x goes to negative infinity, f of x, your y value goes to positive infinity. And as x goes to positive infinity, y goes to, your f of x goes to positive infinity. So as x goes to infinity, f of x also goes to infinity. All right, when n is even and a is less than 0, when a is negative, it'll, the, both ends will be down. So falls left. And right. Okay, so as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to negative infinity, my y values go to negative infinity. So as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, f of x, your y values go to negative infinity. So as x goes to infinity f of x goes to negative infinity okay so this is just a summary over here of what I just did down here so it says to determine the end behavior what we're actually doing is called the leading coefficient test so determine you first determine the degree so if the degree is even then ends will either be both up or down so they'll either both go up if it's even, well, they'll both go down. If your degree is odd, then your ends will either go, they'll go in opposite directions, either one and three or two and four. So they'll either look like this or they'll go like this. If your leading coefficient is positive, they'll both open up. If your leading coefficient is negative, they'll open down. And on the other side, same thing. If your leading coefficient is positive, it'll go this way. If it's negative, it'll go this way. So you can kind of, you can kind of remember uh, this one over here because I think of a positive slope. It looks like a positive slope and this looks like a negative slope. All right, and then you would have to make sure that you write that information down. As x decreases, so as x goes to negative infinity, you would want to write down your f of x, which is your y value, goes to what? Positive or negative infinity. And as x increases, goes to infinity, f of x, your y value, goes to what? Positive or negative infinity. Okay, so let's flip it over and work on the problems on the back. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. We have f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. So my degree is 2, which means it's even. So I should be thinking of, since it's even, they're all, both going to open up, both, or both ends are going to open down. My leading coefficient is 1, positive 1. So since it's positive, that means they'll both open up. All right, so now my end behavior. As x goes to negative infinity, that means as it's going this way, my y values are going to positive infinity. So f of x goes to positive infinity. As x goes to infinity, so as x goes this way, my y values are going up. So that means they're also going to infinity. All right, let's take a look at number two. f of x is equal to 8x squared mi minus 2x to the fourth. So my degree is 4, which means it's even. So I'm thinking either both up or both down. Since uh, my leading coefficient is negative 2, it's negative. That means they both open down. All right, so my end behavior. As x goes to negative infinity, I want to know what does my y values do. So as x goes to the left, my graph goes down to negative infinity. 
as X goes to positive infinity, so as X goes to the right, that means my Y values are also going down, so that means it's going to negative infinity. All right, let's take a look at number three. All right, so I have f of x is equal to x squared times x minus 4. So this is really, when I distribute, I get x to the third minus 4x squared. So my degree is 3, which means it's odd. So I'm thinking that it's either going to go up to the right, down to the left, or up to the left, down to the right. My leading coefficient is positive 1. So if it's positive, think positive slope. So it's going to look like this. So, let's do the end behavior. As x goes to infinity, or I should do negative infinity first, as x goes to the left, my y values go down, which means it's going to f of x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to infinity, what do my y values do? So, as x goes to the right, my y values are going up to the right also, which means it's going to positive infinity. All right, let's take a look at 4. I have x minus 2 squared plus x plus 2 squared and then times a negative x when I'm done. So this here is going to give me an x squared. This here is going to give me an x squared. And then I have to times that all by each other and times negative x, which is going to give me negative x to the fifth power. So my degree is 5, which means it's odd. So I'm thinking up to the right, down to the left, or up to the left, down to the right. My leading coefficient is, oops, sorry. I don't know why I put that there. My leading coefficient is negative 1, which means it's uh, negative. So that means it is like a negative slope. So it's going down to the right like that. All right, so let's take a look at this. This must have been left over from before. All right, so as x goes to infinity, uh, negative infinity, sorry. All right, so what do my y values do? So as x goes to the left, my y values increase to positive infinity. As x goes to infinity, so as x goes to the right, my y values go down to negative infinity. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Have a good night.